Golden Pack Beta is out. Only on the test build, of course, for now. Let's see, we've got some new features, some changes, and like two balance changes. Let's see, added new food sprites with a setting option to use the old ones. Okay, I guess we'll see that when we're gonna be playing. A new world system where cosmetic items are unlocked after the game. New customs on entry animations, which for now, I'm not sure if we've got any in the game. Added practice mode, turn on in the Venus settings to get a helping hand. Okay, I guess we're gonna see what that's about. Unique Cambian Soldier for all backgrounds, we actually talked about this. And add the player in an opponent team's turn, victories and lives. I suppose the, the turn is always gonna be the same. But victories and lives, it's interesting. Honestly, I like it, I like this change, I like this addition I suppose. And some changes. Change the life system so you lose lives equal to the remaining enemy pets, but never more than a current tier. Never more than a current tier, so that, so that means you can lose 5 HP? If you're, if you're really late into the game, I guess we'll see. But I like it. If if you if you always lose, uh, <laughs> if you always lose really close fights, you're only gonna lose one HP. Honestly, this is gonna uh, maybe let meme teams be a little bit, uh, a little bit more successful. Hopefully, if you get stomped by someone team, oof, yeah, someone teams might just be super strong now. Actually, change default life inverses to twelve. Nice, 10 HP inverses was uh, was pretty weird, even 12 is not much, you lose on like round 9 with 12 HP. Change weekly pet, weekly packs you have 9 pets per tier. Sure, less pets I suppose, you used to have 10 pets per tier. Not sure why they changed this honestly, but I don't think it's a bad change, or a good one I guess. Change weekly packs to always include chocolate, well, now that's a good change. Chocolate was just mandatory, man. Hopefully we've got more ways to get chocolate now with the new pack, but I guess we'll see. No guaranteed pill, but yeah, I guess now if you uh, now if you get um, a sloth in a weekly pack, you always can get it to level 3. <laughs> change to the opponent's team and his first team battle. Just a visual change. Okay. Bug fixes. Fixed classic menu background not persisting. Okay, and... Two balance changes, Michael to tier 5, which is absolutely fine by me. I guess it was very impactful for a tier 4 unit. You don't need to level it up, you don't need stats for the microbe, so I don't think this makes the microbe any worse. Especially if you go in microbe turtle, you can just focus on getting the turtle now when you're on tier 4, I suppose. And then nerf to the dodo. Definitely uh, needed the nerf, but I wasn't expecting to get a nerf. Beat B and ability to start a battle give 33, 66, 100% of the attack to the nearest friend ahead. Well, I don't think it's dead, I guess. I still think it's a good unit just because the ability is just amazing. Let's see. First things first, we're gonna see the new artwork, I suppose. Oh, they look cute and they actually look uh, pretty similar as well. The art style looks so. Uh, very aligned, I suppose, but okay, the food looks nice. <laughs> Let's see. Tier 1 Bulldog 1v a heart ability. Set attack equal to health plus 1. Okay, there you go. We're finally getting a bit more uh, in depth abilities. I think they said they uh, they don't want to make tier 1s too complicated. That's why uh, they uh, gave up a long time ago on the Peacock plus 50% uh, attack on heart. But there you go. I guess it's not too complicated, but still. Attack equal to health plus one. Well, it's nice. One fee with, uh, with some peaches for a tier one. With three starting HP. Yeah, should be nice, honestly. I like it. Chipmunk sell. Three, two. Good stats. Replace food shop with one free copy of the health food. Level two, two free copies, three free copies. Well, unfortunately, you can't really. Um, can't really make pets hold chocolate, it would have been nice. But okay, with some late game food should be nice, but you're definitely not gonna want to keep a chipmunk for late game, so... Should probably be uh, very nice with um, with meat bones, should be strong. Yeah, I like it, it's a good tier 1, the stats are good, good uh, on the run anyway. Nice unit. Yeah, fun ability, I like it. Groundhog 2-1. Start a battle, gain a trumpet. Two trumpets, three trumpets. There you go, our first trumpet ability. I guess, actually, for tier one, should be nice, because if you get plus, plus one trumpet, you get a fortunate, right? You get the plus, uh, you get the one, one uh, 
Golden Retriever, so should be a nice steel one. Cone Snail, 1 2, start the battle, keep the nearest friend behind, plus 2 HP. Oh, nice. Oh, there you go, for the Bulldog, I like it. Interesting, we've got. It's got an interesting artwork as well. Cool unit. Bad stats, but we'll make the ball Bulldog be chunky. Goose, 210, kill 1 before attacks, it held to 2. Okay, okay, interesting. Well, I already want to use this for the crab. <laughs> Yo, you can use this for the lollipop. Oh, okay, interesting. We're definitely gonna find a lot of ways to use this HP before it gets uh, set to 2. Okay, like it. Anti snipe, you know, can tank snipes. There's also a food thingy that allows, uh, allows uh, units to attract random snipes. Not sure which one is it, but shut up. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. No spoilers. Pipe Tamarine, 2 2. Before faint, spend one trumpet to deal two damage to one random enemy. Two random enemies, three random enemies. Okay, Tamarine with Groundhog. I guess I'm gonna have to learn the names as well. <laughs> Interesting, I like it. I like, uh, like having an added tamarine at the back, now we're actually gonna have to specify which ones I'm referring to, I suppose. I like it. Decent stats. Random snipe, but actually not a start of battle snipe. Cool. A possum. 2 3. Sell. Give one random shop pet with faint ability plus one plus one. Okay. Sell ability. With plus one plus one for faint units. Cool, I suppose. Just some stats. Not bad, I like the opossum as an animal, so... Silk Moth, 2-2, two, two. friend the hand hurt, give it plus 1 HP, works 3 times? Oh, okay, gonna use this in the back, support unit, I like it, cool icon as well. 3 triggers, that might be too much a bit, it's kinda like a 2-5 unit, right? You can use it with Bulldog. Okay, nice, you can... Can you use this with elephant, uh, elephant blowfish, <laughs> elephant camel? Just uh, nullify the elephant's damage to the hurt unit, I suppose. Eh, interesting unit. Magpie one four. Spend up to end turn. Spend up to one gold and gain it on next turn. Wow, it's actually pretty powerful. Even though in the first few rounds you don't really want to save gold, you just want to maximize the uh, the efficiency, right? So you're not really gonna use this too much. Like round one and round two, you definitely use 10 gold very easily. <laughs> okay, so I guess if you just end your uh, end turn with one gold, it's just gonna keep it. Interesting. <laughs> saving. <laughs> this is a SCP saving account. Let's see. What is this? Bacon? Oh, it is bacon with the uh, with new icon. I guess this is the new chocolate because I was I was this is what I saw first. And I was like, hmm, different type of chocolate, but I guess it's just regular chocolate. I like it. Changing the art style looks uh, looks nice now. Plus two attack and blueberry. Prioritize this for enemy vent abilities. Oh, there you go. This is uh, the snipe magnet. Should be amazing. Definitely, what comes to mind is just using this on a on a porcupine. It should definitely make it much stronger now. Yep, use this on this, but I guess for tier 1 it will just uh, work for uh, for this guy. So yeah, definitely gonna be much more impactful later on. It's just meant to protect your uh, your turkeys and whatnot. On the enemy, would have been nice if it was for, uh, for friendly abilities as well. How many units are, are these? 3, 6, 9 units for tier 1, 10, 11. Okay, let's see. Tier 2. Hercules Beetle. 1, 2. Sell to 1 vendor friend plus 1 attack for each battle this has fought. Oh, nice. A reason to keep a low tier unit in your team. You can't get too greedy though, because its stats are terrible. Okay, even for one round, honestly. But I guess if you just buy and sell it, you don't get, you don't get anything because it hasn't fought. I like it. It means battle targeted. Yep, pretty good. I like it. Blueberry definitely gonna be strong. Stout. Tier 2. Sell. Summon one level pet from your current tier as a 1-1. One, one. one level 2. Oh my god, no, this is this is the new This is the new Stork, but without the pill. Oh man, I love this. It doesn't work in fight, so. 
Okay, it's actually gonna be high risk, high reward, I guess. I like it, man. This is gonna be my new greed unit. Oh no. Three bad stats. It's not gonna do anything in fight. As a 1-1 one, one as well. Man, the downsides are real, but if you keep this until you hit tier 6, you get a level 3 tier 6. Oh man. Okay, I love it. I love it. I we need more units like this, man. <laughs> we don't need bisons, we just need loot boxes like this. Deck neck stilt 3 1. Paint gain trumpets. Okay, straightforward. And I can't we do need some uh some more uh, simple units as well. Okay, okay. definitely excited to see what the, the trumpets will be able to do with the late game units. Till then, let's see. Before 3 2 squared, before faint, spend one trumpet to give one random enemy ink? Ah, uh, but we don't know what ink does. Okay. Hmm. Okay, hopefully it's not something that is like 50% chance to not deal any damage, like blindness. Ink is minus 3 damage. Okay. Pink crunk, so minus 3 damage. Spend 1 trumpet. Hmm. Okay, I guess you can use squid, and then behind the squid, something that really wants to stay alive, like a camel and stuff like that. Opposite to weakness. I like it, it's interesting. We've got reverse weakness. I think it's a good addition to the game ink. Should be annoying. It's also on a random enemy, actually. Hmm. Let's see, Sea Archgen, 42. Faint reduce the closest enemy by 3 HP. Okay, so I think the reduce word means it can't kill stuff, right? So if it has like 1 HP, it won't do anything to it. At least that's how it should work, right? It can't just be, like, a semi-badger. What? Interesting ability. <laughs> I guess pretty fitting, because it's got spikes. Okay. Interesting. Should, uh... I guess this should just be uh, nice for uh, teams with low attack. Just to help them out a bit. Do I hit end? There you go. This one we already know. 2 for level 1 clear front. Okay, so when your first unit dies, I suppose. Push this to the front and gain plus 2 attack. Well, we, uh, we've already known this unit, can use it with, um, you know, we can use it with this one. Then I had feints, just for an extra unit in front. Yeah, use it with kangaroo, it's definitely got some uses. You can use it in the back, and then it goes to the front. Mm. I don't think it's gonna be amazing, but I like, I like the idea. New type of ability, I suppose, clear front. Lizard. Okay, 1v. Heard some 1, 2, 1 lizard tail. 4, 2 lizard tail. Okay. Interesting. Keep it in the back. Give it some HP. <laughs> okay, more heart abilities. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work too well with uh, leech. Or, uh, <laughs> or with elephant. But with broccoli, with garlic. Should be nice. I like it. Sea turtle. Oh, a new turtle. One five. Friend summoned. If in battle, give it plus three HP. Oh. Sea turtle plus seagull with meat bone. And you've got gigantic summons. Okay, interesting. Should not be too amazing, but um, the HP is nice. Depends what type of uh, what type of summons you've got, I suppose. Hmm. Don't think it should be too strong. Gazelle, 2 for the sun return. If you have 11 gold, gain plus 2 plus 2 until end of battle. Okay, so, uh, kind of an Okapi, I suppose. I guess, well, I don't know for sure, but they do look closely later as well. Interesting, I guess you can use it with Magpie or with a level 1 swan, I suppose. You don't really have grapes this early. Yeah, start of turn as well. So you can't really sell a unit and then you get this. Mm, should be nice. It's free stats if you have uh, if you use this, but it's still you gotta spend one gold to keep it for an extra for this. Mm, I don't like it too much, but it should be nice for uh, for some uh, mid game wins, I suppose. If you need a stronger unit, African penguin V V tier two. Why give one venom friend plus two plus one? Okay, this one is um, this one looks a bit uh, a bit. Too overtuned, unfortunately. Beat V starting stats, which is definitely above average. And plus 2 plus 1, that is pretty good as well. Especially because 
the attack is definitely more valuable than HP. If it was plus one attack plus two HP, it would have been a bit worse. Okay, it should be really strong. If you see an F companion, I think it's just gonna be a... You just buy it and sell it. If you see it, you tank it. Okay, we've also got a lot of units that just have more HP than attack, so the plus two attack plus one HP should be a pretty nice buff for most of them, like this, one five, one three. Yeah, it should be nice. And for our food, egg. G deal two damage before attacking once. Well, this should just help out uh, the low attack units, I suppose. Not bad. Two damage before attacking once. Well, I guess. <laughs> well, let's see what these are. Cherry. Gain one trumpet extra whenever this gains any trumpets. Hmm, okay, I guess this is kind of our uh, strawberry, I suppose. Okay, nice. Should be useful, I suppose. You don't gain Trump is that easy, so one trumpet should be pretty valuable. Let's see. DLT. We've got a potato there. Oh man. Let's see what is this. Musk Ox 3 4. Friend ahead faints gain plus two plus two. Oh damn. Okay. Well it does look like it's supposed to be a big unit, so yeah, okay. Th this should be pretty strong. I like it. Definitely similar to the regular rocks. Doesn't gain melon, which I think is uh, pretty healthy. I really don't like it. Melon being uh, available that early on the regular rocks. Okay, but if you use this with this, what if we just anything with the summon? God damn, isn't this a bit too much? Like if you have a unit and then just a bee. Damn, yeah, this this should be a bit too much, man. Especially if you get it from a level up. Okay, maybe it should be a plus one plus two or a plus one plus one. We could kangaroo, yeah, but stronger. Uh, Stronger for uh, for mid game, that's for sure. Let's see, flee the one one. You know, start the battle, make the most healthy enemy weak. Two most healthy enemies weak. Three most healthy enemies weak. I like it. Just bad, without the uh, random downside, I suppose. It is tier three, and it's harder to get to level three, I suppose. And it's got one less HP compared to <laughs> the bad one. I like it. I like it. it should be nice. Usually, you just want one or two. Instances of weakness on the two tankiest units, so should be very nice for some teams. And I can probably gonna use this a lot. What is this? Royal Flycatcher. Okay, two three enemy summoned. Deal two damage to it and gain plus one plus one. Okay, so just an Arvik, kinda. Uh, Arvik and Iguana in the same unit. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Unfortunately, um I don't know man. Maybe there are too many summon counters now. But we're also getting a lot of summon uh, summon type units which buff the, uh, the summons. Oh, I guess it evens out hopefully. Surgeon Fish. 3 3. Before attack spend 2 trumpets to give the nearest friend behind plus 3 plus 3. Well. Sounds pretty strong. That's 6 6 for the stats for the tier 3. Considering you have 2 trumpets and you should probably have 2 trumpets for, uh, for tier 3, right? The strongest part for this should be uh, that the buff is not random. It gives uh, gives the buff to a unit that you want to buff, the unit behind it. So, yep, you, you can probably uh, make very good use of that buff. Use it with an, uh, a good unit, I suppose, like a good carry. Should make this mask gigantic. <laughs> okay, sounds powerful. Sounds powerful. Weasel, 3 4. Faint gain plus 1 gold on next turn. There you go. No, that's a unit for me. What PD plays? I like it. I guess you can use it in fight. Nah. I mean, no, not in fight. You can use it in a shop with a pill. I guess. Yeah, instead of selling it, you can use a pill. Good stats for the tier 3 as well. Should be nice. Nothing special, but one extra goal is always nice to have for the next fight. We can do anything with it, I suppose. Guinea Fowl, 2-5. Hard to gain plus 2 trumpets. Oh god. Now this is gonna be a nice way to, to farm trumpets. Garlic, broccoli. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess you can just use a lot of... Um... Oh wait. The Sergeant Fish can actually do this multiple times. It's before attack. So if it survives one hit... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, the buff, that buff should be a little bit too strong. Okay. This with this. 
Oh man. Okay. Should be powerful, man. Yep. The the trumpet mechanic should be like the strongest synergy in this pack, I suppose. Yo, what is this unit? Okay, no spoilers. Better fish, two three, before fate. Keep the nearest friend behind plus three plus three. Oh man, even more stats. Well. Better fish plus pill. No pill in this, but in a weekly pack. Where's the golden achiever? Golden achiever is technically not something you can see in the shop. It's just uh I guess a different unit. Yep, yeah, it's not supposed to be here. You just get it uh after your fourth unit dies. Uh, when you're uh, left with one single unit on the board. Okay. Meerkat, there you go. That's a good <laughs> cute pet. Spend 12 gold. Give one random friend plus one plus two. Okay, for the gold build. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you just bad siding stats though. Okay, you need to find a way to spend 12 gold, which um, mm. Well, maybe with magpie. Not too much, uh, but I guess you don't have to use it early, you can just try to level it up and once you get to the actual uh, extra gold late game, then you will be able to use this, but mm, I guess you will definitely only get one buff out of it, plus one plus two as well for level one. Sounds a bit underpowered compared to everything we've seen so far, honestly, but I like it, I like the gold build as an idea anyway. <laughs> Let's continue. Flying fish. Speed 3. Friend summon, give it plus 1, plus 1. Okay. A new horse, I suppose. <laughs> mm. Yeah, sure. Baboon. 2, 3. And turn. Give one random friend from the current shop to your plus 2, plus 1. I like it. I like it. This is the copy of, uh, of this pack. You can use it with a unit for 2 rounds, then it's gonna buff a different unit, I suppose. I like it, I like the idea. And it also doesn't let it get out of control, I suppose. Ammo. <laughs> Fort V, let's see. Plant fades. Push the nearest friend ahead to the front. Ooh. Works one time. Okay. Interesting. No real synergies come to mind, but. Hmm. Maybe you can use it with something that has... No. Maybe something that already used its charges? No. You just spend the hand to the front. Okay, but I guess this is gonna be a case of we gotta play with it and then we'll just see what it works well with. But yeah, I guess it's just... Uh, definitely gonna be useful with like a kangaroo or something, but... Want to see the real synergies? Let's see the food. Potato. Ignore damage from non-attacks once. That's nice, but um, most snipers have multiple charges. Why does it deal with you as well? I guess it's nice. Early melon for the support units, just so they don't get sniped. I like it. I think it's a good addition. Definitely gonna be. Not too impactful later on. If there's level 2 crack, just pops the potato, then kills the unit. Let us. Give 3 pets from current tier plus 1 plus 1. Oh, okay. Wait, isn't this supposed to be weaker than salad bowl? <laughs> well, okay, seems good, seems good. You can buff 3 pets, but we're not too likely to have 3 pets at the same time. From the current tier, most likely you have one, two. I guess for uh, for tier six plus, it's just gonna keep buffing tier sixes. And avocado gain two gold on next turn. You spend three gold to gain two next round. Okay, potato hull counter to swordfish. True, but you don't really want to use potato on your big uh, on your biggest unit. Definitely still want to give it melon or stuff like that. I like the avocado. Nice for the gold build. If you've got nothing else to to do, like if you're just waiting for uh, the next round to level up your units or stuff like that, if you already have like two three units frozen, avocado is a nice uh, nice choice. I you do find yourself in a lot of situations when you really don't have too much stuff to do with your last thing gold. Not too often, but 
I guess the avocado should be a solution for when it happens. It seems tear for his potato and swordfish. Oh my god. Oh, actually, that's the real thing. Okay, that sounds amazing. But let's see. Cuddlefish. 7v. Before faint, give the closest enemy ink. Okay, so ink makes it deal 3 less damage. I guess with um, some heart abilities behind it to make sure. Uh, actually. This could be pretty powerful later on as well, like in 50-50 versus 50-50 fights. It's just gonna let your 50-50 survive the 50 damage shot, because it's gonna deal 47 instead. Okay, interesting, I, I like the addition of uh, the ink mechanic. Let's see, Egyptian Vulture, 5-4, knockout. Okay, so when he gets a kill, oh god, no, this is the new Rhino. Activate the faint ability of the nearest friend behind is level 1. Okay, never mind, it's better than the Rhino. It's tier 4 as well, pretty good stats. Okay, I like it. Unfortunately, knockout abilities are not too reliable, but if this one gets a kill, it should be nice. Fuse it with a powerful faint ability. Okay, I like it. High risk, highly worth, I suppose. Psyga Antelope, what would be? Plant faints, gain trumpet, use this in the back. Wait, what happens if you keep Sega Antelope as your 5th unit? Your 4th unit dies, you get the Color Retriever, it dies, you get a, a, another Trumpet. Do you get another one? No, it, it can't be infinite. <laughs> sea Lion. 2-5. <laughs> Cute picture as well. Enter, give plus 1 attack to friends behind and plus 1 health to friends ahead. There you go. We need more stuff like this, man. We need, we need more uh, interesting stuff like this. Reminds me of tropical fish, which uh, which means the sea lion is definitely gonna um, screw you over in terms of positioning your team. Like it, it's interesting. <laughs> Attack in the back, HP in front, just nice because usually you want to keep your glass cannon units in front, so that means you're gonna get some HP on them as well. Seems fun, shouldn't be too strong, unfortunately, but seems fun. Fakita, okay, to be far, faint gain plus 50% trumpets. Oh god, well. This is gonna go nuts. This is gonna be all oh, no. Well, I guess I know how you can get a 50-50 Golden Retriever now. Just use this as a fourth unit after you already got so many trumpets. Oh man. Sounds innocent, but this is gonna be really powerful if you use it with a nice trumpet team. <laughs> slug. <laughs> Poor for oh god, the icon. It reminds me of the slug in Futurama. I forgot its name though. If paint someone one, two, two, smallest slug, that's a oh my god! Let's go! Oh I love this so much. Bakita plus one up. Oh god, that's true. It, oh no, wait. Vulture plus Bakita. Oh no, it activates the faint ability. Okay. Well <laughs> should be fun with Dale. Well actually we've got so much stats this should this should be nice. Okay, I really love the, uh, the idea of the slug. Slugs Mackenzie. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it. Just more summons. Unfortunately, if this can snipe... Well, actually, no. It doesn't really matter if it gets sniped. Actually, this unit... Uh, like, this summon unit is actually the one that sucks the least when it gets sniped. Because, like, level 2 Orca, for example, gets sniped, you only get one summon, but if this gets sniped, you still get the same summon that still spawns the same summon when it dies anyway. Okay, nice. A bit of protection from snipes, I suppose. If should be nice in a snipe heavy weekly pack. Poison Dart Frog. It looks a bit flat, flat compared to the other units. The antelope as well. When the hand faints, deal 4 damage to the highest alt enemy. I like it. Hylas highly right again, 1-1 one, one stats. Nice snipe. Unfortunately, damage to the highest health enemy means it might not get too many kills. But you can definitely use this with Toy Head Ant or with Slug, actually. Oh god. This is gonna be nuts, man. With, with stuff that needs units in front of it to die, like the regular axe or the kangaroo or the musk ox with Slug. Oh god. Plus two, plus two, three times. Oh god. The game, I really like this unit. I'm not sure if it's gonna be. Too amazing. Dice to a level 1 mosquito. <laughs> can also just use potato on it. Secretary Bride at 3 2. 3 friends faint. Give the needles friend behind plus 4 plus 4. 
Okay. Definitely meant to be kept in... Well, actually, not really... Not necessarily kept in the back. Well, Slug level 1 is already 3 faint abilities. Slug spam with circuit teleported. Okay, interesting. We had... Uh, we only had... We only had Flint Faint's ability on one Faint, and then we got on two Faints for the Vulture, and now we got uh, abilities on three Faints. Interesting, I'm not sure if it's... Uh, no? You're definitely gonna get... No. If you use a Slug, you can get two two bombs out of this. Should be, should be good, should be good. I like it. Falcon. Fall for Knockout, summon one feet v level one copy of the Knocked Out Pet. Oh damn, that's so cool. This is gonna be nuts if you go up against a, a summon team, though. You just... oh man. Okay. Yep. I guess kind of a... the more fun hippo. <laughs> I love it. This sounds like so much fun if you use this bit. Uh, but if you don't go up against summon teams, it's not gonna be too interesting unless you banish to kill a scorpion, I suppose, somehow. It's also a knockout, which means it might not do anything. Like it. See, it sounds fun. That's all I care about. Don't care if, if it's stronger or not. Manta Ray, fine for a start of term. There's an empty space game plus two? Ooh. Okay, nice. I, sh I guess we've got a new uh, llama? Kinda? I guess so. Uh, with Mantis as well. Right? But Mantis needs to go first. I like it. That's a decent amount of gold. Sounds cool. Oyster. Sell gain plus V gold. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Very cute icon as well. Well, should be nice. Unfortunately, you only can use the ability once, but I guess so. Uh, it's a gold neutral buy and sell. You spend three gold, you get. Oh, wait, no. You you get four gold back because you gain one gold for just selling the unit, and then you gain plus V. So this is just. Okay. Easy way to gain gold, I suppose, for a buy and sell team. Well, sounds amazing. <laughs> Decent stats as well, honestly, 2-7. Mm, might not get too many kills, but the HP is nice. If you just use fried shrimp, meat bone. Let's see, food. Chocolate cake. Give one pet chocolate cake. Gain plus VXP on start of battle and faint at start of turn. Okay. Honestly, I was really hoping we'd get some, uh, some, more, uh, some more versions of chocolate. Gain plus VXP on start of battle and faint. Let's start of turn. Banana, give one pet banana. Summon a 4 4 monkey on faint. <laughs> oh god. Well, I like it. Shouldn't be amazing, but more summons. Decent stats for, uh, for a summon as well. And waffle. Activate by ability. Well, this is gonna be nice. By buy units and choice. You can actually keep buy units now. I guess you would only keep them if you went for the level 3 stickers ribbons. To be fair, the cow was definitely worthy of keeping because level 2 and 3 milk was nice, but this this just makes them even better now. I like it. Pretty strong. I don't think we've seen too many buy abilities in this pack though so far. I guess this is the penguin. Jesus man, level 3 penguin waffle. X. Okay, deal fine, let's see. New secret pets? Yep, a lot of secret pets, I love it. <laughs> deal 5. Niella. 2 3 start of battle, gain trumpets. That's a lot of trumpets. Plus 6, plus 12, plus 18. Plus tiger. Well, if you use this, level 2, then you double it. With. Which was it? Which one? Oh, wait, this one, Vakita. Plus 50%. I guess level 1 is not amazing, but level 2. Damn. You can't really get a big uh, golden retriever. I like it, man. Honestly, the, the golden uh, the golden pack uh, identity is just so much, much more interesting than the strawberry, man. The trumpet just seems so much fun. We haven't really seen some of the stronger... Um, like, we've seen a lot of ways to get them, but I, yeah, I guess we're just gonna wait for, uh, for the... Alright, maybe we're gonna see some in tier 5. Hopefully some of the tier 6 are gonna be able to use uh, the trumpets as well. Let's see. Nut Shark. Ooh. For 6 faint, spend all trumpets to deal this double damage to one random enemy. 
Well, there you go. The next unit, one that uses the trumpets. Double damage to one random enemy. Well, it's nice, but the random part just sucks, man. Just imagine vacuuming up, just using so many abilities and units to gain trumpets, and then you snipe a 1 2 monkey in the back. Hmm. It's on faint as well. Can't really use it with 1 up because you've already spent your trumpets. Sounds interesting, but. I, it's just gonna feel so disappointing to to use the whole team to gain trumpets and then the snipe just doesn't do anything. And if you use it, you gotta use it in the back as well. Because you gotta gain trumpets first. Well, if you have started a battle gain trumpets like this, you can just use it in front, kind of. Mm. I'll see. Doesn't sound amazing. It deals damage to two random enemies, three random enemies, so its level up should be nice. Yeah, actually level 2 and 3 should be pretty powerful, because the snipe is definitely going to be high damage. And if you use it like in the back, it's just going to hit most of the units that are still alive. Actually, sounds cool. Level 1 underpowered, but level 2 and 3 sound amazing. White Whale 3 8. Eat sharp wood. Swallow the leftmost sharp pet, at least it does level 1 after fading. Okay, definitely one of the more interesting units as well. It's sharp food, so basically you swallow a unit and then it just keeps it for every fight until you swallow another one. You can use a pill as well. I like it, it's basically a kind of an eggshell. Like it's just protection for another unit, basically. I like it. You can use it in front, well depending on what you use of it. Just imagine, white whale, and then it spits out the slug, you've got 4 feints in one single unit, and if you use like, banana, <laughs> 5 feints in one unit, and you don't even need to get lucky, like you can get lucky with orca and eagle, they just keep re recycling each other, but with this, you always can get 5 feints with no RNG. Sounds nice, I like it, definitely gonna uh, make for some interesting uh, synergies, honestly. I suppose you, use, uh, you release it with its default stats, just like the stork and the eagle do when they spawn stuff. Okay, sounds cool. Definitely gonna see some uh, white whale scorpion, for example. Just protection for the scorpion. I like it, man. Wait, what happens? Oh no, it won't work with one up, right? The regular whale doesn't work with one up well. Maybe. I guess we'll have to just do to test it out. Wolf. Level 1, 4-4 four, four unit, level 1 faint, summon 3 level 1 pigs. Okay, I guess they're just the regular 4-1 pigs, actually. Sounds like a pretty cool unit to keep in the back, and yeah, I guess so. Uh, reference to 3 little piggies, whatever the story is called in English. <laughs> Sounds nice, especially because the pigs have 4-1 stats, which means they are decently dangerous. Level 2 is 8 tier, level 3 is 12 tier. Yep, I imagine so, just double and triple the stats. Should be pretty powerful, honestly. Especially because it's like 3 extra feints as well. Can use it with Vulture, can use it with... Which one was it? This one? Secretary Boy, I suppose. Sounds nice. Interesting, uh, interesting ability, that's for sure, I like it. Silver Fox, 4-7 after attack, gain plus 1 gold the next turn, 3 times after attack, so that means it has to survive the attack. Okay, I like it. The uh, the gold uh, the gold build carry, I suppose. You need stats on it, that's for sure. Just to make sure you always get the 3 gold. Sounds pretty powerful, honestly. Blue Wing Noctopus, 5 3. <laughs> Looks like a banana peel. Buy, give all friends plus 1 plus 1. Okay, what buy units? Should be nice for the, uh, for the gold build. Twaffle, I suppose. Especially because it's all friends. Sounds powerful. I guess it's a snail that that doesn't need you to lose. Like it. Fire end. Thought it was a termite. Six for good stats. Faint. Give attack to one vendor friend. Okay, suppose it gives its attack. Not bad. Two vendor friends, three vendor friends. Hm. HP build with fire end in front. Dodo fire end. Not bad. Interesting. Definitely gonna make like your monkeys, your turkeys uh, a bit more threatening as well. I like it. I think it's got its niche users, maybe. Sounds fun. Macaque. Okay, 6 for enter. Gain plus 1 plus 1 for each friend that can gain gold. 
Wow. Okay, so there you go. This is um This is your bison for the gold build. Wow, sounds cool. It is tier 5 though, which means it's it's not gonna have too much time to gain stats on its own. But okay, I like it. I guess it is a bison or a llama self-scaling unit, but it's for the gold bit, which I do like, so <laughs> I guess I'm biased. <laughs> no, I like the unit. I don't think it should be too strong just because it's steel 5. <laughs> Cockatoo. Okay, full 2. Other buy unit. Give 3 random fence with a faint ability plus 3 plus 1. Oh wow. Buy and sell for, uh, for summon teams. Okay. Nice. I guess. The, the the condition to buff only faint units definitely makes this only usable in, in uh, much specific situations than just a simple buy unit, but I like it, I guess. I do like summon team, so <laughs> maybe I'll get to use this. Quain, 9 to you. Friend the hand, heart. Okay, so I suppose. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Give it melon and plus 5 attack. Okay, works once, okay. Okay, if, if this didn't have triggers, this would have been crazy. 9-2 as well, which means it's vulnerable to snipes. And this is definitely a unit worth keeping alive. Pretty strong, actually. Especially in this, you don't really have stuff. You don't have melon, stuff like that. Well, I guess we haven't seen these. These should be the most powerful ones, right? Okay, sounds, sounds nice. We've got the regular chocolate. Eggplant. Oh. Plus 3 plus 3? Wait, what is this? Recycled chicken leg? But tier 5? I guess. Th this is the definition of power creep, man. Just over time, uh, low, lower stuff, or lower tier stuff just gets stronger than higher tier stuff. Like, why would we get the same exact thing by the tier 5 to tier 6? They definitely could have, I don't know, maybe at least make it plus 5 attack, plus 0 HP, something like that. Oh well. Onion. Equipment. Move one space back when this is at front once. <laughs> nice. It reminds me of uh, Plants vs. Zombies Onion. For some reason. I like, get just uh, the repulsive aspect of it. <laughs> Clean is getting nerfed fast. Mm, it is tier 5 and Melon is strong. It also works on Hurt, which means if your unit is just like in one shot, it might just not activate. Okay, I like the onion, just more protection for stuff. Also, counter to donkey. <laughs> if donkey pulls one of the units from the back, if you have onion on it, it just moves back. And only works once. Okay. But, let's see. Now, now we're ready to see the real units, man. I keep seeing you guys mention the greasy pad, and there it is, but... Okay, we'll get to it. Don't, I don't wanna... Don't wanna hover it over it yet. Let's see. Tier sixes. We only know about this guy, this guy, oh wait, and this guy. Okay. Let's see. Will the beast 86. Before attack spend trumpets to gain coconut. There you go. Just like the strawberry in the strawberry pack. But this time. Wait, works once, twice, three times? Oh damn. This can go nuts. And it's before attack as well. Oh my god, you keep this in the back after you gain enough trumpets and... Oh, pretty good stats as well. This is gonna be one of the... Kind of OP. Sounds really strong. But I guess we'll, we'll wait and see what uh, these uh, these units do as well. Okay, sounds like uh, one of the... Well, probably the main carry of the of the trumpet build. Highland Cow, 412. Start the battle. Gain plus one trumpet for each two health this has. Okay, so on default it's gonna gain 6 trumpets, and then 12, and then 18. Okay, so I guess you wanna buff cow with the HP stuff. Nice, but I'm not sure if it's too powerful for tier 6, like... We've seen some nice trumpet abilities in the lower tiers as well. Like this. I guess it's got decent stats and yellow really sucks in terms of stats. Okay. I guess it can go crazy if you just give it a lot of HP. Hmm. I guess. Should should be nice if you manage to get stats on it, but I otherwise don't think it's gonna be too nice. Pteranodon. Wait, Pteranodon. Oh god. 8-4. Another dino. 
can't faint. If you had a faint ability activated again, works once, twice, three times. Well, that sounds amazing, but I guess this means you can't really use faint units in front. Like, if you use eagle in front, you don't have space for two units. So I guess it puts a limit on uh, your positioning as well. Okay, sounds uh, sounds powerful for sure, especially with a nice faint ability. Oh god. With a slug, you get so many summons. <laughs> okay, sounds cool. I like it. I really like it actually. Can't finish. Start to turn, activate by ability on an idiot's friend behind. Okay. The 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 by archetype. This is it. Okay, but what's the strongest by ability for this guy? I'm not sure. Okay, maybe we've got some right here, but in tier 5 we had this guy. Wait, no, never mind. Two niche. This guy. Oh god. That's just boss for the whole family. Okay. So yeah, should be good. <laughs> oh god. Let's see. Cobra. 10 for friend of hand attacks deal 10% attack damage to two random enemies. Oh. A new version of Snake. 10% attack damage to two random enemies. Well, that means one damage on its default stats to two random enemies. So, Tiger is not gonna work too well with this, just cause it's gonna activate the 10% ability. Mm. Should be powerful, but level 1 doesn't sound uh, decent enough. But I like it. Well, Snake. Mm, kinda. Kinda you need to scale it as well, which is not good. Usually just wanna scale the unit in front of it, right? Just so it hits multiple times. And this one needs stats on the unit in front of it, on and on and on itself. Sounds cool though, with two snipes instead of one. Three sleeper. Let's see, six six, two friends summon, deal six damage to two random enemies. Twelve damage, eighteen damage. Well, wasn't expecting Grizzly Bear to be a, f a summon or a summon unit. So this is just a different vulture. Sounds fun, but was expecting it to be something else. Hmm. Okay. Well, sounds interesting. Sounds strong as well, because you really have a ton of summons now in this pack. Okay, Grizzly is nuts. I believe you. It sounds nice. Grizzly with regular bird. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. Bird of Paradise. Beat V. Spend 7 gold, give all friends plus 1 plus 1. Okay, well, we've got ways to get gold. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to activate this 3 times in the same round though. You're definitely gonna be able to, like, if you're going for gold, but there's no way you don't get 14 gold. I'm not sure if you can get 21 though. If you buy and sell, you can, I suppose, because you do spend 3 gold, then you get 1 back when you sell the unit. If you use clam as well, oyster, I suppose. Mm, it's nice. But not sure how powerful it's gonna be. Wait, hog. 6 7 faint give one random friend plus one plus one triggers for each two attack oh okay nice i was expecting it to say uh, it multiplies the buff for each two attack but it triggers multiple times that's cool hmm okay so you need attack on this guy as well and actually this sounds pretty crazy unfortunately it doesn't work with one up because it spawns as a one one Okay, I like it. <laughs> Sounds fun. Not sure if it's gonna be too powerful, especially because it just buffs a random friend, so the boss might just hit uh, an irrelevant unit. That sounds cool. And German Shepherd for our last unit. 8 5 friend summon, give it 20% of this unit's attack. Okay. A lot of summon units, actually. I'm very surprised. I like a lot of them. This one. I, I guess this one doesn't have just faint ability, Grizzly. The sky. Hmm. Okay, sounds nice, but again, if it if it doesn't have good stats, it's just eh. And for what kills six food. Let's see. Pita. 
pita bread. Give one pet pita bread. Take less damage equal to this attack once. Well, okay, I like it. I like I like food stuff that has potential to be really strong. Eventually, like the cheese actually as well. Like a 35 unit with cheese can kill a 50 HP unit with melon because it deals 70 damage. This pita can uh, can basically can be a coconut if the unit has 50 attack. And I guess it just acts as in like if you use it in the back on your support units, I guess it just Oh wait never mind, no it doesn't act as a melon. <laughs> okay. Definitely good for our uh, high tech units I suppose then. Pets and give one pet plus one plus one multiplied by the lowest tier on your team. Okay. They made us switch food now. <laughs> sure. I guess. I suppose it's gonna be like plus four, plus four, plus three, plus three most of the time. I don't think uh, there's much reason to make a team based around the Pretzel. There's no other uh, tier synergy except for like Baboon, but it doesn't know. It doesn't work. It's, it's, it works with the shop now. It's nothing. Good for Doberman. Yeah, good for Doberman teams. Gonna be a plus four, plus four. But we've got Eggplant. Yeah, there's no reason to play around this, but it's nice to, to see it. And Tomato. Give one pet Tomato. Deal 10 damage, 10 snipe damage to one random enemy before attacking once. Hmm. Nice. Just uh, a semi badger ability. I like it. If you use this in the pack, it can uh, can save you. Instead of your uh, instead of your weak supports dying in the back, catfish. It just throws out a tomato, maybe it saves it. It's also just plus 10 attack, basically. But okay, this is uh, the golden pack. You've waited so long for this, man. And honestly, I, I, I think um, I think this should uh, last us a long time, man. But with, uh, with the units we already have... I love it. There's definitely a lot of synergies between the new units and what we've got already.